Okay, uh, I'm assuming that by the fact that I heard you, you both are in here. Yep. So I'm going to set a little bit of a ground rule, and then I'm going to just let y'all wrap off. Um, no TOS. Um, I'm only here just to make sure that the connection between you two is equal and that if there are points that are missed, uh, maybe I can help elaborate. I think you both are at least decent people for the sake of this conversation, and I don't think that my opinion will be changed. I am not the be all and all arbiter. I am only here just to make sure that it remains civil because I like you both. Um, good luck and have fun. All right. Um, how are you doing, Bing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing pretty okay. Um, so how do you want to do this? Uh, you, uh, I guess for, for my side, this is how I will lay everything out. This is the order of events as I understand them. All right. As from my perception. All right. A uh, couple of days ago, I see a, a very funny tweet poll. <laughs> I see a very funny tweet poll uh, from the MF, MF Endless dude that says, what slurs does Sansol use? And there are three options. None of them are no slurs, right? But it's, you know, it's whatever. It's a little bit funny, right? White dude says uh, hard R with slobber coming out. All right, cool. Retweet it. All jokes. Um, but then over the next couple of days, uh, shit starts spiraling. And um, yeah, it seems like the 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 quote or the uh the clip that you made on my stream of me making fun of a uh possibly racist or you could take it in a racist way a statement by demon mama and then hyperbolically putting that into you know what the logical conclusion of it was um seems like that's why he was trying to come at me on twitter um and then i wanted to talk to him i don't know why you got involved uh and then yeah so here we are Oh, so are you, you asking me a question? No, that's, I was just laying out what my perception of the order of events was. Okay, so to be clear, because like, I've told, I, I told him this personally, I made that clip for a meme. I didn't mean that clip to like clip you and be like, oh my God, Sam Souls and whatever the case may be. I literally clipped it for a meme and you could like, like, how do I say this? Because you said you did, you were in chat and you said Sansol Lamau, right? So I, I saw the clip immediately after stream, right? Because uh, I usually right. go through, I try to see like people clipping me out of context, but I didn't really think anything of it until I saw people like going hard on me on Twitter saying that I think that Afri Africans are savages that eat too much meat or whatever the fuck it was. Because I was making fun of the like vegan argument Demon Mama was making, right? So I, yeah, right. you know? So do you understand how yeah. I might take that as you clipping it out of context and putting it into a group chat saying, oh, man, uh, Sansol really hates black people. Yeah, I can. I, I, I'll, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to do it like to, to be all, to be spiteful. Like, that wasn't really the purpose of the clip. Like, I clip everybody like that because I think it's funny. But like, I don't know, it can it can damage people's reputation, I guess. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Sure. for hitting you like that sure but you seem to 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 actually think that i'm racist given what you were saying on twitter so like let's talk what it what's what's your problem with me what was my problem with you yeah you don't advocate the way i like people to advocate so that's why i have a problem with you to okay. keep things can you, short and sweet sure uh can you explain um I actually have like <laughs> I actually have like a pure Twitter thread on about it about how I personally advocate through um what I I call human like a human way of advocating more things that are more personal and understanding the human condition. So for me, I drop people when like baseline level of um like knowledge about civil rights isn't like isn't like met so <laughs> i don't i usually j just drop people after they do something really sus and be like ah oh, you up and then like keep it rolling for my own sanity because there's there's a certain degree of like performativity that i'm not allowed like i don't tolerate basically i don't tolerate a certain level of um people not actually living out their beliefs sure so 
on the left. How does the way that interacted with the two of you run counter to my belief system? Okay. So I've said, I, I'll just run it back. So it's a full, like sure. articulate thoughts. So I'll answer your question. Okay. The way I move is different than a lot of people. The way I've interacted with people are different than a lot of people on online spaces. Move. I personally have a goal of doing stuff like mutual aid and doing my, uh, um, doing IRL activism. So for me, I weed out who are the snakes and the rats because I can't let everybody be in my space. So for me, when I had the conversation with you the first time, when I was sitting here um, asking you questions and seeing what your beliefs were, that for me personally, that's meant that I can't take you seriously. Because if you are a person that does the equal, equal treatment to Nazis as you do to Black separatists, that means you fully don't understand the plot. So it's like this, right? If a person is a, um, it's like a thing where, um, it's like comparing apples to oranges because you don't understand why they exist. And instead of like actually understanding and like attacking uh, the system, you're just like morally condemning black. Do you understand why um, Nazis exist? Explain to me why Nazis exist. Nazis exist, generally speaking, because they feel like there is some kind of, uh, Thing in society that is fucked up. There is some, um, you know, something that is holding their race back because of either a a group of people or, um, you know, just kind of the systems in place, uh, and they want to, you know, recapture some kind of power that they feel that they've lost in society. Right. Often this happens because of isolation maybe like they're just like lonely white dudes who spend too much time on their computer um but like very rarely does someone like be born as a nazi i don't think that that's possible right so there are conditions that make people into nazis so if you're going to tell me that i don't understand why black nationalism or black separatism ex exists which i do understand and i do sympathize with i just don't think that it's morally justifiable right it's, mm -hmm. it, I'm just saying it's a little ironic that you would say that I don't understand the reasons uh, why uh, black separatism exists when a lot of the same um, conditions that make someone into an extremist on like the black nationalist or black uh, uh, separatist side are also the same conditions that will make a white nationalist an extremist on their side. So what's the difference between a black person's lived experience and a white person's lived experience? Depends on where you live. But if we're talking in the United States, then uh, a black person's lived experience, generally speaking, is probably going to be one of uh, it's it probably going to be a little bit more difficult to um, uh, get by because of systemic oppression. There's probably going to be um, uh, they're probably going to grow up in a uh, like worst part of town because of um, historic redlining. Um, the schools in inner cities are pretty fucked. Uh, you know, there's like all the, all the memes that we know about from, uh, the past, you know, six or seven years where people have talked about progressive on progressivism on the internet. Right. So with those differences being said, you still think it's the same thing. I don't think it, uh, I, uh, why does it matter? Because the, the solutions that black separatists give don't actually achieve what they want to to accomplish so like in the same way that i don't think that nazis are good because what they are trying to uh, accomplish isn't going to get them what they want either so like they're just being they're just being stupid about what they're advocating for now i don't know enough about uh black separatism to know if there's any kind of like hatred for white people in there but i don't think it really matters because ultimately at the end of the day the thing that's going to help people is working together and not you know trying to separate by a, some kind of nationality or some kind of uh ethnicity so you don't think there's any distinction or difference that actually matters uh, no, I don't think there's any consequential difference. So you basically think Nazis and white, uh, not white, but black separatists are in the same boat. 
Um, in terms of creating ethno states, yeah, and I think the ethno states are un <laughs> like they're untenable. There's no argument that you can make for them that is in any way coherent. So, but this still like we we tried to move past this, but like I I I'm trying to like point out to you that if, so, well, so what really I, quick, sorry. really quick, I'm just gonna yeah, say go ahead, this, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. go ahead. The, the reason I'm, I'm talking about this and the reason that we keep on coming back to this is because I have a like, very, very kind of like specific way that I think that the world ought to be. Well, maybe not specific, but there's like a range of ways that the world could be set up that I think it would be adequate for everybody. And there are some ways that are better than others, right? Um, and I don't think that anything that you're going to bring up of me going against my own values is going to be accurate because I don't believe in any kind of ethnic separation. I, I think that a, a multicultural um, system is probably the best one for everybody to end up getting along. There's less racism today than there was in the 50s, right? There's much less racism. Um, and this is like all over the West, everywhere that's been desegregated, everywhere that has, um, you know, multicultural uh, societies, the more people integrate, the more people get along, the, the, as much as like the cringe statement is like the more colorblind as a society we get until we can actually, you, you know, like bring marginalized groups into parity with groups that were oppressors in the past. I have a question. Sure. And I will keep it short and sweet. And I'll tell you if I like you or not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, you wait you Do realize you, i don't no, care I'm, no, if you... I'm, no i'm no because you asked me why i have a problem with you sure and i'm being upfront and blunt about it so do you believe that we shouldn't just attack institutions and that we should also attack the bigotry and culture and how we socially interact of, of course like the we should um like, I think that the only, like, tangible, like, easy thing that you can talk about is institutions. But, like, yeah, we should all talk about, like, how we can be less fucking racist, obviously. Okay. So are you willing to self-analyze when it comes onto that? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't take, okay, cri so I don't take criticism. I don't take criticisms from people that I think are giving me criticisms in bad faith. I'm not being bad faith. I'm being upfront with you. Well, that's why we're talking because I it felt like, like on Twitter you were being bad faith very much. Do you believe in mutual aid? I don't understand the question. Do I believe do you, in it or do I do support you believe, it? Do you support it? I mean, yeah, not on its own. Do you own. think it's important? Do you think it's important? I mean, yeah. Do you think it's important outside doing institutions? I'm sorry. As in like doing what pushing legislation. Like, is it pushing legislature? Yes. Okay. Do you believe that the way you move is funny? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> simple. I don't like you. That's okay. Simple. Wait. Hold the fuck up. Wait. I. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Sorry. That was that was that was wild. Okay. So, I I believe in the concept of mutual aid. I think sometimes it can be it, it can. Be useful. I think that most of the time when people talk about mutual aid, they're just using it as a stand-in because they don't actually care about what politics is, and they just want to do like charity work, but they don't actually like do fucking anything. It's just a giant fucking virtue signal on the internet that doesn't actually help any marginalized community whatsoever. Like the fucking mutual aid conversation that happened yesterday about like making sure that we can provide guns and ammunition to trans people to like defy the based? government. Okay, to defy the government. Not to defy the government. Okay, that's that's a virtue signal, and it's stupid as fuck. Okay, and that's not going to help fucking trans people. I don't think most trans people want to go to war with the U.S. government because let's be honest, trans people aren't going to win that fight. Okay, so I think that that's really fucking stupid. Now, if you want to talk about mutual aid in terms of like making sure that like children have like breakfast when they go to school, making sure that like different groups are able to, um, you know, have clothes, like homeless people are able to have shelter and shit like that. Yeah, that's totally fine. But like, there's a lot of stupid fucking virtue signaling that goes on on the internet that I think is so fucking unbelievably stupid and so unbelievably counterproductive as to harm the other side of the equation like the electoral side of it, right? So it will create a fucking pushback because number one, it's not actionable. Number two, even if it was actionable, it wouldn't like 
create the end outcome that anybody wants, right? And so it's just a fucking like bunch of people saying, yes, as many fucking trans people that have guns, this is what will get them civil rights when, when they're also advocating against fucking electoralism. These are the people that I push back on. Okay, when people like that come out of the fucking woodwork to like say they're stupid fuck, like dumb fuck, like low IQ, stupid fucking anarchist fucking opinions. Yeah, those people can get fucked. I hate those people because they actively push back on the exact, the consequentially, they push back on the very things that I think we need to do to help marginalize people. Like funding schools, funding, um, funding uh, rejuvenation projects in, uh, in different neighborhoods, right? And making sure that like people get the, the help that they need, right? Different social programs and shit like that. That shit is harmed by the dumb fucks saying that we should just rise up against the government because like lol capitalism bad all right that shit's cringy as fuck and i reject all of that shit that has nothing to do with me hating black people it has nothing to do with me um uh, you know being against black liberation i i think that the people that advocate for that stupid fucking like virtue signally shit are the actual most dumb fuck racist pieces of shit in the entire world where they think that the only way for like black people or for trans people to 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 find any kind of liberation or any kind of equality in the society that i live in is for them to be violent towards someone else it's so unbelievably fucking wrong i have a question sure do you understand the importance of self-defense in the civil rights movement yes important was it i are you talking about like the philosophical concept of self-defense or what no explain it to me when someone attacks you you're morally justified in attacking them back no in the civil rights movement i said in the civil rights movement are you talking about like the black panthers no that's not the civil rights movement that's the black power movement okay explain it to me tell me okay because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I understand your question. Okay, there is a lot of historical backing for Black people not being able to bear arms. Okay. And that's simple. They were not considered. They were not considered Full citizens. citizens. Yeah. And the repercussions of actually practicing the Second Amendment meant absolute hell. So, I believe in arms. I, do you think when that I'm sitting here that black people community. shouldn't have? Do you think I'm sitting here saying that black people shouldn't be allowed to own guns? Is that what you took away from my statements? No, it just okay. feels like you were missing the plot. Okay, and so, that is exactly sorry, and that is exactly where I'm going to step in because no, 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 again, no, no, no. I, I have to ask this question: Do you think that giving trans people guns as mutual aid is going to that's help not mutual the, aid? That's what I. That's the exact thing that I brought up that you started pushing back on because. It feels like you, it's like this, right? Why did you push back it on feels it if you like didn't a, understand it? It feels like a thing where someone's trying to describe something to you. And then because they used one wrong word that you don't like, that's when you want to completely dim- dismiss the concept. Or instead of actively trying to support the concept. And try to push those type of okay, things. Okay, so this away. projection it's- is unbelievable because I brought up the concept of like you brought up mutual aid, and I said that the kind of mutual aid that I don't fucking support is the cringy LARPy bullshit, like saying that giving trans people guns is going to necessarily give them the ability to like fight for their civil rights, which I don't agree with. I don't think that that's like the way that you can like actually achieve civil rights in the United States. You have to have like legislative protections for trans people. People. Like that's the kind of thing that we want, and like I don't yeah, think that they're advocating. Yes, that's that's my entire point. And they need to be armed. Why do they, they need to be killed. armed? They need to get like they like. Oh my gosh, they literally get slaughtered on the street. They need to be armed. That's okay, what I can meant you tell me the last too. time there was a mass murder of trans people in the it, streets? It doesn't matter if there's a mass murder. Then why do all trans people need to be walking around with RPDs? I'm so sorry to have no, 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 no. She has to answer this. We do have to bring up the Pulse Nightclub. No, no, no. Hold on. We have to. (laughs) Hold on. Do you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you think that that was because of the? 
Oh my fucking god, that is the stupidest fucking thing that you could have brought up. That was a terrorist attack. That wasn't state action. The, the, the reason that she's defending the um, like trans people being armed right now is because state action is going to like keep them from self-actualizing and having any kind of civil rights. To bring up Pulse nightclub is so fucking stupid. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now, okay? No, I was just, I, I was merely saying that I believe that what's happening here is that she's advocating for or she we're going past the point thank god of the twitter argument and she's saying that there's advocacy that needs to happen for marginalized people right and to she's have the defending right to the bear stupid arms. kind right and i never said that they can't but to say but to say that by by having guns necessarily black people are going to be able to like self-actualize and have like the exact same privileges in society as white people or the same Nobody thing for trans people. That. You're, Nobody that's said right. that. Okay, then why that. do you keep on like saying no, but every single time I say that? You argue, you keep because on arguing with me. No, because you, you, okay. This is what I'm talking about. You are focusing <sighs> on a, a small thing that doesn't actually matter. Oh, my fucking God. I, you asked no, me if I, I, I no, 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 no. You asked me I if I support no, no, something. No, no. You asked I me if I support just something. Said, I literally just said that we should arm trans people and you were like, oh, well, we, we, we're not supposed to be doing that. No, you didn't even bring it up. You didn't bring it up. I brought it up. You asked yes, me. Do, no, I no, hold on. I need you. I need you. you, need you. you stop you her. You just stop said her. No. She's, she's experiencing psychosis right now. I need you to stop her. Okay. You asked me, do I believe in mutual aid? I said, yes. As long as it's like a functional form of mutual aid. I don't support mutual aid just just because it's mutual aid, right? And then I brought up an, an example of mutual aid that I wouldn't support. And then you said, well, that is actually like something that we should do. And then I said, why do you think that trans people necessarily are going to have their civil rights granted to them by being armed? And then you said, no. And I said, cool. Then we agree. And then you said, no, we don't agree. Trans people need to be armed. Do you see how you're like going around in a circle trying to argue with me because you're just like angry on the fucking internet? This is why I say you I'm need to log angry. off and it's touch some grass. I literally, okay, I literally am a part of a union, so you can suck my dick. So what I'm, so first of all, <laughs> first of all, what does that have to first do with all, anything that we just no, said? No, 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 first of all, first of all, what, this is why I said that you act funny. If you agree that we're supposed to attack cultural and social things, then why are you sitting here talking about institutions? We're talking about social and cultural, which is a base basically arming trans people so that they can have their personal um, protection what and does... you're talking about legislature you literally you asked, missed the plot. you asked me a question you're you asked plot. me a question i i answered your question <laughs> you asked me do i support uh both legislative means to uh, like achieve uh you know civil rights and do i support mutual aid neither of those are like social okay so now you're like Jumping on me about a topic that we had moved past and had nothing to do with what we were just talking about. Do you understand? Okay. Do I support like socially moving us to a place where people are like more accepting of other groups of people that don't look like them? Yeah, I, I believe in multiculturalism. I think it's fucking based that I like my entire life. I grew up around people that didn't look like me and I didn't think anything of it because I live in the fucking like most diverse country on the face of the earth in all of human history that's fucking cool as fuck and i think that we need more of that type of shit and the people that like don't look like me should have the exact same rights and privileges in society as me people who don't uh, uh, you know like have the same gender identity as me should have the exact same privileges and rights as me all right none of these things that i've said thus far have been contradictory with that you're I, I don't know why you're arguing with me you're finding reasons to argue with me because you don't like me but i don't care if you like me i just told need you, to you realize, i don't like you yes i know I, I wow holy shit i just said that goddamn but like the thing is i don't need you to like me to like actually hear the words that I'm saying and respond to them. Because it sounds like every single time I speak and I say something that is completely unobjectionable to any person that is 
left of center. Like, even if you're an anarchist, even if you're a Hillary Clinton supporter, nobody would disagree with anything that I just said. Multiculturalism is fucking based, and everybody should have the same civil rights as everybody else in society. And I don't support stupid ways of getting there, like giving trans people guns, because that's not the way that you do that. Do I think that trans people shouldn't be allowed to have guns? No, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. They have the, they have the fucking constitutional right to own a gun. Nobody's arguing against that whatsoever. I'm just saying that right there isn't a way to achieve any kind of civil rights. Do you this agree is, or disagree? I disagree. And I disagree. now instead of instead of hold on hold on what? hold on hold on. How? 